The story of bargaining the number of prayers from 50 to 5 has clearly taken from Genesis 18, verse 23 to 32. In that chapter, God revealed his plan to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah due to the wickedness of those cities, Abraham asked God to spare the people. Suppose there are 50 righteous within the city, will you then sweep away the place and not spare it for the 50 righteous who are in it? If I find at Sodom 50 righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. The bargain continued until verse 32. Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak again but this once. Suppose ten are found there? For the sake of ten I will not destroy it. You see this bargaining process in the book of Genesis, from fifty to ten righteous people, is very similar with the bargaining process in the Bukhari Hadith from fifty to five prayers. It is obvious that story from Bukhari was taken from Genesis 18, verse 23 to 32. After that I came down and met Musa, who said, what did your Lord enjoin upon your Oma? Fifty prayers each day. Your Oma will not be able to do fifty prayers each day. I tried the people before you. I had to deal with the children of Israel, and it was very difficult for me. Go back to your Lord and ask him to reduce the burden on your Oma. So I went back, and the number was reduced by ten. What were you commanded to do? 40 prayers each day. That's still too much. Go back and ask him to reduce the burden of your Oma. So I went back, and the number was reduced by 10. The process of going back and forth continued to happen until it came down to 5 prayers each day. That's still too much. Go back to your Lord to reduce it more. I have asked my Lord until I feel too shy. I accept this and submit to him. When I left, I heard a voice saying, I have passed my order and have lessened the burden of my worshippers. After that I returned back home here.